Pros Michelle, one of the founding members of the Fugees, he's headed to prison today, convicted on 10 counts in a scheme to help China influence the U.S. government. Uh, federal prosecutors allege that Low uh, Take Joe, also known as Joe Low, paid uh, Michelle millions to help launder money. Low had allegedly embezzled uh, from uh, a Malaysia-owned investment fund. The alleged scheme involved payments to Barack Obama's 2012 presidential re-election campaign and efforts to convince the Trump administration to extradite a Chinese national. Uh, again, M Michelle faces uh, 22 years in prison. This this was a really uh, a, a strange trial uh, to run. I, I, people might remember uh, that that was a Super Bowl commercial that uh, Proz had uh, taken. It was like a $5 million Super Bowl ad for this content company where they were going to be making cell phones and the sales from the phone were going to allow create black content. And I always thought it was strange because they ran a Super Bowl ad and the site wasn't even live yet. Um, and, and, and in fact, and I remember, and I forgot it was called, I think it was called Bl Blackshire or something like that. And I remember actually getting with their PR people and doing a phone call with him uh, about it. And it seems that all that money that was coming in with the stuff like that, now he going to prison. Ooh, you know, man, um, I actually did a little bit of research on this case a couple of days ago, and it seems to me like, honestly, Proz got in got in deeper than he could really swim in, got in some water that he couldn't really play with. The people who he was associated with are some real heavy hitters, and they were going around buying a lot of influence with a lot of people, whether it was the Kardashians. If you take a look at this brother, this um this Asian businessman's Rolodex, it's crazy. It's pretty much all the A-listers in social media and in pop culture and hip hop and stuff. And I think what he was trying to do was trying to figure out a role for himself outside of music as trying to make himself sort of like a cultural ambassador and try to be somebody who can broker deals. But if you don't know the water you're playing with in that, it's best to leave that alone unless you got a team around you who really knows how to navigate that. What he did wasn't really a unique thing as far as like trying to broker influence and be sort of like a fixer to introduce one person to the other. But when you're starting to play around with people who have who don't play on the same level that you play with when they're dealing with governments and they're dealing with presidents. And if you're not in that, if you're not on that level, it's best to leave that alone until you know what you're dealing with. I think he, I'm not saying he didn't do some of the things they're, they're convicted him of, but I think he's becoming a fall guy for some other people's influence. Just a mess. Well, look, look, look here. Well, he, he, here's the deal, Rebecca. Um, you know, this, this guy here cost Malaysia, uh, billions of dollars. Uh, there were other people who went to jail as well. Look, when you start taking money and you start talking about influence, you got to register as a lobbyist of a foreign interest in this country. Yeah, he was in real deep. And now he about to head to prison. Yeah, and it's really unfortunate. You know, I would say for any celebrity, any person who wants to get involved with politics, especially when it comes with money, you really have to make sure, um, like Terrain was saying, you have to make sure that you have folks around you who have experience in that and know um, exactly what they're doing. I mean, we just saw um, um, Congressman Jeff Fortenberry also get in trouble for taking money, I believe it was from a Chinese national that went directly to his campaign. Um, and, you know, so, you know, he got convicted. So it's, you know, we're seeing that the Department of Justice is um, cracking down on this. And I would tell people, especially going into the 2024 election cycle, if you want to raise money for any particular candidate, if you've never done it before, you need to make sure you seek out professional advice because we're seeing a steady increase of foreign nationals and foreign governments actively interfering in our election system. Well, uh, Robert, during the trial, he claimed that he did have the advice of lawyers and accountants. But again, when you start talking about foreign money and elections, you, you're now in some deep territory uh, that, that deals with, again, lobbying, that there are laws against foreign money being involved in elections. Uh, and so uh, this was, you know, the prosecutors laid out a very strong case against him. And it's not as easy, Robert, to simply say, hey, I ain't no dog. So we just ain't never going to get another Fuji's album? You never going to get a reunion <laughs> tour? Hey, uh, you can hang that world tour up. That ain't happening. 
I, like, I just came from the, the Usher residency out there in Vegas. It, it's amazing. So the food just could do something like that. But no, Proz wants to pretend that he's part of the Kingpin organization. Now, now he's done messed up everything for everybody else. That's just being selfish at the end of the day. You got to think about the rest of us who now, when we're in our middle ages, we try to see the old ass that we wanted to see back in the day. I'm not trying to get into Little Gaudi. I'm not trying to get into Little Uzi. I want to hear the music that I like, which includes the Fugees. But now Proz has messed that up. So I call this personally against him. Well, look, I know Lauren Hill like being late. I don't know about 22 <laughs> years late. So we'll see what happens when, <laughs> when they have a citizen uh, that, uh, that that's going on there. All right, folks, back to our Roadblock Unfiltered video in just one moment. We feel the hidden impacts of climate change that land harder in black, brown, and native communities. Not many people talk about it because they clearly don't know our lives. But with President Biden's landmark infrastructure and climate plans, our issues are finally seen. Removing lead pipes means we know our water is safe. Cutting carbon pollution helps our kids breathe easier. 1.5 million new jobs mean stable work in communities. The impact we need. Right now. 